Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. Uh, I'm going to go over the password reset snippet so you know how to uh, use it in your backend and your application. So uh, if you haven't used the snippet yet, it's just a way for uh, people using Xano to share either API endpoints or a collection of API endpoints uh, to be used by other Xano users. So I created this password reset one uh, because it is a common application. Some people asked, you know, how do I build it? It's actually pretty similar to um, Magic Link with SendGrid. It's just basically uh, one extra endpoint. Um, so uh, with that being said, because this requires the Magic Link with SendGrid extension, um, I do want to point out that you will have to configure um, your environment variables for this to actually work for you. And if you need more information on this, you can go to the Magic Link with SendGrid extension or watch the video. Um, but you'll need a SendGrid from email that's valid a SendGrid API key, um, a magic link redirect URI, which is basically the uh, link that uh, to your front end that a user will land on when it's time to update their password, uh, a magic JWT secret, I'll show you how you can generate one, um, a SendGrid magic link uh, template, so this will be a dynamic template ID, and I'll give you some HTML that you can use for that, um, and then just a magic link expiration time in seconds. So 3600 um, would be one hour. So that might be a good baseline to start with. But let's go ahead and um, first I actually want to jump to uh, the functions here. So there's this generate JWT secret that'll come with this snippet. And you'll also see this in an API endpoint, but I recommend you just run it from uh, this function. All you have to do is run this. And you can either just hit copy result as JSON or just grab this whole thing and copy it just go back to that uh, JWT secret environment variable and just paste that in. That's all you need to do. Um, so next, let's jump to the API. And let me go over the actual uh, endpoints that we'll use. You can see here's the generate JWT endpoint. But like I said, run it from the functions. Um, either way works, though. Um, so the first thing a user is going to do on your front end when they realize that they have forgotten their password is they'll hit this um, auth request magic link. They'll put in their email address. It'll run through this generate magic link function where it'll check if this user is legitimate. It'll create a magic link. It'll update the user table. Um, and then it'll send off an email using SendGrid uh, to that user's email address. Okay. Uh, they'll receive an email and I'll jump to SendGrid real quick. Um, that might look something like this on the right side. Um, I'll include this very basic HTML. It'll take in the actual magic link that's generated, and it'll just say something like, use this temporary link to sign in. You can customize this. This is just the baseline I want to give you guys um, to use. So once they get that email, um, they'll go ahead and actually uh, click on that link, and they'll land on a page where they'll hit this um, auth magic login. So they'll actually be authenticated into your app and be given a uh, valid auth token. The magic token as an input here is going to be generated in the URL of the magic link. So your front end needs to be able to parse that to make this an input. Um, and this will just go through a bunch of different checks, um, validate that this magic token can be exchanged for a valid auth token. And it'll update um, that magic link schema on the user record and uh, output an auth token uh, for your user to use. That auth token is important because next they're going to actually update the password. And this endpoint is going to require authentication because we want to make sure the user is updating the password for who they say they are. So uh, with this endpoint, I have two passwords um, just so we can do a precondition to make sure the passwords match if you've ever entered in a password, you need to do it twice just to make sure you have your password right. Um, I've configured this password input to require a minimum of eight characters, one upper, one lower, uh, and one numerical digit. You can edit this, you can configure more to include symbols, um, but this is just a baseline. So that's all customizable. Um, once that password check is complete, we'll get the user record based on the auth ID. We'll do another security check, and then we will just edit the user record uh, with that updated password. Um, so with that, I believe that's all you need to know for now for um, this reset password snippet. Uh, once again, don't forget the environment variables. Um, those are very important. And 
I hope you guys can utilize this in your application.